Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today it's all about Christmas ornaments. As you can see them hanging there. There is a hanger for clothes and I put that on a little line and that's where they're hanging and that's really practical for drying. I left these little uh, silver things in there because like that I can hang them. But it also means that later on I need to remove that one and put a new one. Another thing I need to say up front already, I tried multiple angles to film this, but a lot of times uh, my hand's just going to be in the way because it's it's up in the air and not flat. So I hope you still enjoy it and you can get some inspiration out of it and perhaps we find something cool because multiple times I've done uh, three-dimensional objects and I never liked it. I kind of always used to like ring pours and they run down and they leave all kinds of fizzy lines and I never really liked that. So today I'm going to just pour around in a circle or in a patch. So let's see how that works. And with the little ones I actually want to put paint in the cup and then dip it in like you can do with, with other with fabric and this kind of thing. So that could be a really easy way. Okay, I'm gonna make some little cups for the for the Christmas balls. What I also want to do now is not, I did that before, to pour on it straight. And I always had the problem that I had the bottom not covered. So I'm going to put pour on them um, a little bit horizontal. Okay, so this works way better. Also, the paint is relatively thick. That's, uh, I think, a good plan to do that. So I get real patches instead of just ziggy zaggy lines. Uh, I have the majority of the bottom covered, but it's also way easier to add another line then. So. Pretty, right? Uh, I didn't use any silicone. I don't like the rundown cells look. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add the rest of the cup. And now I can wait there and dry. That's really the Last time I had it on cups and all, it was a disaster and it didn't dry properly. And now it has the chance to really run down also at the bottom and all these kind of things. So that is way better.
so you can really take the cup and press it against the ball and guide the direction. I mean, this is really awesome. So now here I have a hole, so I can just go up here and guide a line of paint down here. So this is way better than doing like a ring pour or anything else. Now if that isn't pretty, I don't know. Okay, so with the last two, I think what I like best is a little bit of white, one color and then something like pearl or rose gold or something like that, because that looks really fantastic then. Yeah, that's really way better than the others because with the others, the different colors start running down and it gives us like this a typical ziggy zaggy. But with this type of things, it's already mixed into a, a, a mass, basically, where you have just have different shades. So I think that's going to look way better at the end. So now I only have the little two left and I'm going to do the experiment with just dipping them because, yeah, that would be, of course, way easier. Okay, so that was easy. Just dipped it in. And it is like what I said now with... The, oh, sorry, it's just moving so much. Uh, a bit like what I said with the last two. It's like a color in color. But of course, depends on... Why is it wibbling so much? What color to use? But this was easy and really cool. Stop.
well I think I had too much pink in the cup so some colors eventually are more dominant than others still oh now it's a little bit more striped so yeah you can press it in you could do multiple with this and if you use bigger cups and bigger balls you could easily um, make uh, multiple balls with one pot of color cool okay so now they're hanging there for drying and really I like the left two absolutely the best this is already too much zigzaggy for me again um, oh no now it's dropping on that one yeah too bad so I have to do that one over But yeah, this is a definitely a success. The setup needs to do some amendment because it's hanging through now. I'm gonna show you the red one. You can see that even after a little bit of drying and running down, there is still the red and the, the pearl and everything. Of course, it keeps changing. That's why you have to consider to build bigger patches than just have multiple colors like there. Okay, so I hope that gave you some ideas for the next Christmas. I think I have some for the dipping that could be really practical to do. I love the red one. I think I have to go over the green one now again. And yeah, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and I hope to see you back soon.